everyone, this is Thomas Chang from Fontech Innovations. Welcome to another session. Today we're going to be talking about how do you become a super presenter with Reactive Suite Pro. Turn on your Reactive Suite Pro and this, this is what you will see. Go into stage because that's where you perform as a celebrity and then you come to Quick Start Project you will be here. This is actually an empty project, right? So this is where you'll do your temporary presentations. So what do you do? First of all, you just want to add something so that people can see. First thing you like to add is camera so that people can see you. So add that and then come here, select your camera. This is the camera that I want. I've selected it. Notice that it appears here right away. And then I want to change the resolutions and scale. I would like to suggest you to choose 720p 16 by 9, which means it's the most popular uh, scale and 720p is high resolution enough. So let's click on that. Exit and pull up your camera. Simple as that. The world can see you. Once the camera is actually on the table, you can move it around. How do you move it around? Bring your mouse onto it, left click and hold. You can actually bring it up. Now it's floating in the air. Let's say this is where I wanted to go. Let go of the left mouse. Then it stays there, okay? So next thing, I like to resize it. So if I interact with the menu like that, I can drag the four corner and again, I can change its locations. So let's say I don't want this to be big. I just kind of move it small and then drag it there. Okay. Notice sometimes the menu disappear because you have an interact with it. I want to bring it up. How do I bring it up? Left click again while the menu is up. So here is the menu and I want to change the mask. So I want to change from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3 or 1 by 1 or a circle. I can change that into a circle. Uh, circle is my favorite shape for a camera. A little bigger. Move it to the side. Okay, now my camera is up. Where is my content? I like to add some content into onto the table. What I want to do is actually go into media. So this is media. I just clicked on it. Notice it's empty. Of course, we haven't added anything. And what we want to do is actually add something. How do we add that? See, this is the file, the folder that I have that I want to present. So this, I, this was pre-made, right? This is actually my Windows folder. I was working with my computer, so I know where the files are. Let's say I want to bring up a PowerPoint. So I can just drag that and click OK. And the PowerPoint is going to be here, loading in the media bar. And if I want to add more things, for example, I want to add a PDF, I can drag that into Reactive and click on OK. Now it's going to be thrown into the media bar. Well, let's just pause for a second here because I think I went too fast right there. So let's do it a slow version. If I want to get to my file, what I want to do is show my desktop. That's the easiest way for me to see my file explorer. So I'm going to see my desktop, right? So let's say I have already put a file folder there. You can see that's on the desktop. I click on that and that's the file that I want. Then I can go ahead and import these two into it. I can even select them two at the same time, drag it, drop it, click accept, and then they will be in your media bar. Simple as that. Let's go back to the original film. This PDF is rendering faster than the PowerPoint. I bring that onto the table and I can also drag the PowerPoint onto the table. Notice now I have two pieces of content on the table, but for the remote viewer or even for yourself when you're looking at it, the words are a little bit too small. So you need to focus the attentions of one particular content. What do you do? This is the fastest way to do it. First of all, let's say I want to use the PDF. So I click on the PDF, notice the indicator bar is shown on top. I want to enlarge it. How do I enlarge? Use the escape key on the top left of your keyboard. Click on that, full screen. Notice now it's a very clean layout. Yourself, your content, nothing else. Audience, focus all their attentions 
onto reactive and you can present accordingly. So now it's time to use fully utilize the power of a mouse. There is a scroll wheel of the mouse. What do I do? I use the scroll wheel to zoom in. I can zoom in by zooming into the content and I can roll back to zoom out. And if I move my pointer to the image, if this is what I want to show my audience and focus their attentions, they focus on an image. Simple as that. Bring that back out. I want to show them the photo down below. They see the photo down below. So simple. So even within one single page, you can chop up the page by zooming in, coming back out, focus on a particular area of the flyer of the slide, and then you can express your idea. So they don't have to read everything at the same time. So for example, I want to show them the specs and the features. Then I let their eyes be seeing the features instead of migrating to any other part that I'm not talking about. So having that control is super effective as, as a super presenter, right? You can do the same thing with your camera. Notice uh, my camera, my face is not big enough, right? I'm probably now 10% of the entire circle. I can move myself closer or I can sit back and relax and use the mouse wheel to zoom in. Let's say that is my comfortable size, then I let go. So I have full control of my presence and my content, okay? Let me zoom back out again. Now, remember, you can exit the full screen by pressing the escape, which is what you did to enlarge in the beginning. You can actually bring up the menu again by clicking on the left mouse and toggle full screen off. And now I want to focus the attention on the PowerPoint again click on it to select it, escape to enlarge, and I can go to the next page by going the right key on the keyboard to go right, or I can interact with the UI here, right, there, go left, all right, simple as that. And then let's say you want to explain things better, so you can actually use the annotation feature. What do you do? You use the left hand, well, depending on whether you're left or right-handed, but anyway, just hold on to control. Hold on to control, your mouse becomes a pen. And you can highlight, annotate. And if you want to erase the ink, you just hold on to shift, which is next to the control. You can erase the ink. Hold on to control, keep holding and holding and holding. Now you can move your mouse and you can circle and write. If you want to stop the ink, let go of the control, it goes back to the mouse again, you can move about. So this is how you write. That's one, two, three. If you want to erase it, hold on to shift, hold on to shift, and then just move the pointer to the ink and you erase it accordingly. So now you are a super presenter because you can fully control your presence, your content, and access the tool of annotations, right? However, if you think your presentation now needs to use a space for a lot of writing and drawing annotations, what can you do? You can actually go into the scribble, which is this green icon there, click on it, take you into an infinity whiteboard. Notice that the camera is still there. You can still see the camera because your present is the most important thing. So it doesn't matter if you're on stage or scribble as you are switching from one place to the other, the camera is always going to be there because people have got to be able to see you talking. Then you can actually write. So this is an infinity whiteboard and you can actually write and write and write and you have endless space. If you need to move around in this infinity whiteboard, simply just drag by holding on to your left key of the mouse and go in other directions so you can have more space for you to doodle and write on. And that's what you can do with the mouse. Of course, the mouse is not the best device for writing. If you have a touch screen, you can use a pen. So I'm using a ideal hub external monitor connecting to my PC. And this active pen works like Surface Pro pen. So I can pick it up and just say hello everyone and I write smoothly on the surface and then of course I can erase as well. So whatever your technologies are, are you using a touchscreen, 
in the pen or using a mouse. It doesn't matter. Reactive works with all the peripheral device. So that is the tip for today. You can use Reactive to work with your PC, with your touchscreen, with your Surface Pro, and become a super presenter in an instant. Okay, it's just so easy. You gotta try what I just did, and you'll find that your presentations is becoming way more interesting, way more memorable, and your meeting will become way more effective. Thank you very much for listening in. My name is Thomas Chang from Funtac Innovations. Stay tuned for more sessions on how Reactive and the Digital Table can help your presentations and communications become much more effective and more memorable.